y'all i decided to turn the camera on for a quick chit chat um taking my hair down i set my hair with the design essentials almond and avocado mousse we're gonna see how this turns out y'all so y'all girl what is going on you know what my hair is tangled at the ends here what is going on? What y'all doing? How y'all up to, girl? Look at that length. Yeah. How y'all up to? What have y'all been up to? Girl, speak proper English. Y'all know me. Um, y'all, I may get some scissors and cut this hole. Every, everything's a hole to me. I need to watch my language. I am so sorry. So y'all know how we do this. We talk about what I've been watching on YouTube. Uh, what I've been watching on, well, personal life, what I've been watching on TV, and that's it. So let's talk about personal life. I got some notes here. Hold on, girl. So I know y'all uh, thinking, Vivian, where the hell do you think you going with these COVID numbers? Crazy. I know, girl. I know. So, girl, get it together. I had let this indoor playground locally here know, right around the corner, that JB has a YouTube channel and that I would film um basically do a review of their facility and load it up for them so that's what i'm going to go do is film in there mask up and i will say no one goes in this place i feel bad for them but on the same side i feel safer knowing there's not a lot of kids in there when we've gone i've never seen more than 10 kids in this indoor facility and typically a place like this will have at least 50 kids um one day last week it was just jb and a toddler so we're gonna go today is saturday and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty packed but we're not gonna stay long um i know one thing they have some banging ass pizza i know y'all but this is crazy like their pizza is really good and i'm a picky eater and i'm like this pizza it's off the chain ben <laughs> Ben is one of the volunteers that work there. He's so sweet. He's like 70 years old. Y'all know I love me some elderly people. So anyway, um, I'm going to be doing that. It, the temperature here in Phoenix has dropped. It's very cold. So we're going to go to Walmart. I ordered JB a jacket. Look, I don't care. Uh, I will order clothes through Walmart in a minute. $13 um, for his jacket. And then I ordered some... What is it? It's just a pickup, y'all. I don't really go into the stores and shop anymore. I still do the majority of my stuff pickup. What do you what about y'all? I don't care. Like I have a bunch of pickup orders to do. Literally, I have a pickup at Walmart, pickup at Sally's, and a pickup at Fry's. Stay in my car, literally in and out each place, 10 minutes or less. We don't be doing anything. I have not been to the mall. That's a lie. We went to the mall once. Um that was way back in the summer, not doing it again. So we don't really, we don't do anything still. We don't go anywhere where vacationing is off. Like the few places I told y'all we went was locally. We went to Tucson. We went to Sedona twice. There was nobody there. It was quiet, which is good, but it's like, and most of the restaurants were closed, which is good again, but it's like, what can you do? You know, so we just stayed at the pool near the pool. This is during the summertime. But right now, since the numbers are off the chain, we ain't going nowhere. So anyway, heads up, JB may interrupt me. I shouldn't even speak that into existence, but we know it's true. All right, y'all. So yeah, um, homeschooling is going good. Um, for a minute there, we had a little bit of drama with JB, but he got it together. Yeah, and y'all... Besides that, nothing else is really going on. You know, just taking everything one day at a time. I asked, my husband asked me what I wanted for Christmas. He's like, what do you want? I'm like, oh, Chanel. <laughs> so he's going to get me some perfume. Um, excuse the background, y'all. He's like, is there anything else you want, girl? I was like, no, I'm good. Like, honestly, y'all, I, I don't even know what I'm going to get him. He didn't even use the cologne that I got him for Father's Day. It doesn't matter. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to get 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 him. Are y'all done with your Christmas shopping? Um, JB has a few more things coming in. Um, I need to order three more things through um, Amazon and that's it. 
Oh, y'all. Now, I will say, I have been nasally. And last week, I was actually coughing off and on for like two days. It's all allergies. It is all allergies. When I tell you my allergies are off the chain. <sighs> so, yeah, y'all. Look, I'm looking at these people. Welcome by. Look, y'all. I can see people through my window and they can see me. <laughs> so, they're like... <laughs> Like, if you're really looking in here, you can see me. Uh, someone waved at me. I didn't wave back, girl. I'm doing my twist out. You need to leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, y'all. What I'm watching on YouTube. Girl, I've been watching Throwback Queen's channel. And she does um, stuff from The Real Housewives. I forgot how petty The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like, season 7 and 8. But I'm not... I have honestly have not watched Real Housewives of Atlanta the past seven, excuse me, the past two seasons, y'all. It's not like, I still like real, reality TV, trust me and believe, because every now and then I will catch me a 600 pound life. Um, and what is that? 90 Day Fiance. You brush your teeth, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Can what? I have it? No, that wasn't the plan. You still can't have that. And this is the thing, y'all, he just working my nerve. This is the thing, um, because the numbers are, are crazy, we stopped, we postponed taking him to the daycare for a while, right? But I'm in the middle of a huge project at work and JB keeps interrupting me, my meetings. My husband, excuse me, my husband is typically working out and I'm having meetings all throughout the day. It is really becoming difficult. <laughs> If we weren't in this damn pandemic, I could do it. But because the numbers are crazy and the only other place that offered childcare services is about... What's that noise? Sorry, y'all. The only other place... Basically, the daycare is like 15, 20 minutes away. 20 minutes away. So, back and forth... It takes me 40, so back and forth, 40 minutes to an hour, you know, because I have to get on the 17 and come. It's in, it's in Glendale, and we don't, you know, that's another city, so there's nothing nearby. Nothing nearby. So a lot of the places don't even do after-school care anymore because there's not enough numbers and stuff. So it's meaning there's not enough kids signed up for after-school care. So I get, what's my point? Um, It's really busy at work, really busy at work, and... I had to work during Thanksgiving. I worked Thanksgiving the day after Thanksgiving and I sent an email to my manager and you know voiced my opinion on some things and, and she's like, um, I got me some help you know someone that but I have to train her which is fine I'm okay with that you know as long as I can get some help so I'm okay y'all um so yeah nothing else going on but besides that work is good you know I, I I've been busy but it's been progress it's been busy with a purpose so I don't feel like I'm overwhelmed not at least not right now so um yeah y'all besides that oh girl let me tell you something so y'all what I've been watching on YouTube like I said I, I went all the way around throwback queen looking at some of her videos um there is someone that I saw now she's making videos I kind of touched on this in my vlog, so I'm not going to talk about it a lot here. There was a young lady that it had been rumored that she had trigger warning. It had been rumored that she had committed um, suicide. Sansa Ray Smith. This was like six, seven months ago, right? And I remember, um, Shelly, I remember you had made a video about it. It's Hutchison. Hey, girl. And... A couple of other people had made videos, you know, in response to it. And then came the videos from people that were like, she's not dead. She's faking her death. And I'm like, that's not cool. Like, you, you shouldn't even play like that. Why did I see? And it, I'm late. This has been a month. She is not dead. And the thing that really bothers me, y'all. So, so let me back up. She posted a video saying... This horrible, horrible rumor, meaning the rumor that she supposedly committed suicide, caused her to basically avoid everyone for a while. Now, the thing that was a little bit upsetting, let me just say this too, and I know I'm all over the place, y'all, excuse me. I am, I am happy that she is alive, but something is off here. 
And the reason why I say that is that I used to be subscribed to the sister years ago, but I was, it was after she had had her son that something to me with me and her content, it wasn't meshing well. Like I felt like we weren't getting the entire story from her. So I unsubscribed. Now I did watch some of her videos every now and then because of some of her stuff I do like. I do like, but uh, you know, some of it I couldn't really 100% rock with. I'm just being honest, and that's okay. You know, you don't have to watch someone if you're not really rocking with them. But now, this latest stuff with her, she made the video that you know that was a rumor, and because of the rumor and people really not using common sense, she just decided not to say anything. Why would you do that? Like, I'm not saying that she faked her death. I'm saying, why wouldn't you come forth and say, hey, you guys, I am alive and well, at least to the people who, because I was like really sad, not really sad, but I was sad about it and I was empathetic. But why wouldn't you say anything knowing that people, and I think even Lovely T.I. did an Instagram post, like, and we don't know what may have happened behind the scenes. And I'm going to wrap this up because I know a lot of y'all don't even know who this person is. But anyway, um... So I went back to her Facebook page, right? Because I always try to do a little bit more research to, to figure out what's going on. And whoever even manages her Facebook page had created a post. There was a picture of her. And so I'm like, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. What, what, what is this? If y'all, I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm not going to speculate on it, but I think that at the end of the at the end of the day, like I said, I'm glad she's alive and well, but I hope she really does, she needs to get some help because something there isn't right. Something's not adding up. So, she's not dead and a lot of people called it. So anyway, y'all, um, besides that, have y'all been noticing the increase in deaths? I know 2020 has been something else, but specifically in the music industry, and we all know the music industry is evil. I'm just gonna, you know, conspiracy theory, call it whatever. But so who was it? Um, Bobby's Bobby Brown's son died, passed away. The babies, the rapper, the baby. Um, his brother committed suicide, and did he commit suicide live, y'all? I don't get why people do that. 21 Savage, brother was stabbed to death overseas. I just feel like, and like I said, call it conspiracy theory, I feel like somebody's collecting death. Like, we co they collect, we're collecting lives at this point. Like, people are dying left and right. And not only in the music industry, we all know, you know, but I heard about that Instagram uh, influencer or uh, model who was murdered. A lot of black women are being murdered by loved ones, either a husband or a boyfriend. It is absolutely disturbing the amount of people that are being murdered in 20, why am I whispering? Murdered in 2020. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so many people are checking out of this it is sad. But there's something about the deaths that are occurring in the music industry, and they have been occurring, let's just be real, that just doesn't sit well with me. Like I said, I feel like, you know what I mean. Like, we, we it's time to pay up, and you're going to pay up with this death. Really, seriously. So, y'all, I guess this is an okay twist out. It's defined. Um... I'm gonna put on my clothes here in a minute. Girl, what I've been watching on TV, so y'all, The Undoing with Hugh Grant and Nicole Kippen. When I tell you I finished all of it and I was here for all of every episode, honestly, um, I loved it. That husband, without giving much detail, so those of you who haven't seen it, the husband who was played by Hugh Grant is the epitome of a master manipulator, narcissistic individual. I bet if anything, once we see what happens in season two, you're gonna see that he pinned these two women against each other and was telling them a different story. So, uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. What else am I watching? I watched The Invisible Man a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if I mentioned that or not in one of my other chit chats. I watched that. Girl, why did JB and I watch Krampus again? I say again because I already saw it, but J JB never, 
he's never seen it. I was scared as hell, but JB's looking at me like, mama, seriously, this is, this is funny. I'm like, uh-uh, this is scary. Yeah, I'm trying to, I tried to watch Jingle Jangle, and I know it got great reviews and all that, but I don't really care for musicals, to be quite honest. Like, I was like, yeah, I love the hair. I'm here for the fashions. And then when they got up, held up some presents and started spinning around and singing, I was like, wait a minute. JB looking at me laughing. I said, like, wait a minute. They, this is like a musical? Um, yeah, I don't really care for musicals. I know y'all, you know, let me know if it's really worth it. And I may try to watch it again. Again, this Jingle Jangle on Netflix. Um... What else am I watching? Oh, so the new Selena series came out yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, Friday. I don't think I'm gonna watch it. I mean, how many times do we have to retell the story of Selena? Is there something else we don't know about? Like, seriously, I just, is there, I mean, yeah. I, you still have not put on your clothes, child. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I don't even care of the fact that the girl, the young lady who plays her, I guess people were upset that, you know, she's very thin, the actress that plays Selena in the Netflix series. She's very thin. She doesn't necessarily have the great, you know, not great. I don't want, I don't want to say that. Um, she doesn't have the same type of body type as. So let me look up y'all this other one that I added to my, um, list is called the third day with jude law oh it got a low rating 6.5 is anyone watching that it got a really low rating and what is this on is it on netflix or hbo i believe it's on hbo yeah it is and so i do like emily watson so i'm thinking about watching that next because i'm done with watching everything um one of my uh old co-workers told me that you know she watched the crown which i'm like I'm not, i don't know if i really want to watch some old old british people but i may watch that um y'all know what i still am holding on to y'all gonna think i'm crazy i don't know why i'm holding out out for this games of thrones <laughs> That is the one show that I have not, well, I have not seen that now episode, but it's on my list and I'm like, I need to watch it. I need to watch it. I don't know why. Games are thrown. <sighs> this is what I did with my hair. It is what it is. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.